show you how to create a widget for your Restream live streams. This can be very helpful because yes, of course you're sending your Restream broadcasts out to a specific social channel or feed or more than one. Restream can go to over 30 destinations. However, all of us, if we have a personal brand and a website and we'd love to drive some eyeballs there and that is a single place we could send somebody who might wanna watch our live streams, that can be very helpful. And Restream offers you the opportunity to do that through adding a widget to your website. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you need to be logged into Restream.io, which we are, and I'm on the Destinations tab. Now to get to where you can get a widget uh, for your live streams through Restream, you need to click on the little triple dots here and I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to go to settings. So in settings, you see several different tabs where you can set up your stuff. Now one of them, and it is in beta, is a widget tab. So you're gonna click on the widget tab. So as it says, add Restream widget on your website and give the ability to choose platforms to your audience. Incredibly helpful. How many of us have wished we could be like, can't there just be like one space I could tell everybody to go, but then they could watch me wherever I am? Yes. So first of all, you wanna click your size. Now. Um, these tend to be responsive, which is great because a lot of people are watching stuff on mobile. So uh, these are fabulous. So you can really kind of play around and pick whatever um, you want. You are gonna wanna test this out on your mobile once you're done to make sure it's looking great. Um, but I'm gonna just go with medium because, and, and you can see it'll preview as you click small, medium, and large. There's a big one. So um, you can pick whichever one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and click medium and just see what that gives me. Now, once I click the size, it has everything there ready for me. It says, look, here is the code to embed on your website, okay? So I'm gonna click copy. There it says embed link is copied to the clipboard. Now, here's what you need though. You need to be able to have access to your website. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this through a WordPress site because my website is hosted through wordpress.org. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm actually in the guts of my website right now, but you can see really quick what this looks like already. So if I click preview, and I love that what WordPress gives you this. You can click, I wanna see a preview in a new tab. Um, what does this web page currently look like? So it is on my website, Really Social, your social and media resource. Um, and I have a Really Social is Live. It's ready, right? It says, watch us live. There's nothing there to watch. So I need to add the widget. So I'm gonna hop back. That again was just a preview window. I'm still in the guts of where I wanna add this. So I'm gonna click on here. Now I have the word video in there. Now it's when I click on this block in WordPress's editor. It gives me several options, but I am gonna click over here on more options and edit as HTML. So now I have some familiar looking coding in there. If you remember, when we grabbed our code over here, that code started with a little caret. Same kind of coding we're seeing right here in the HTML coding. That's a good sign, right? So I'm actually gonna select all that and I'm gonna paste in the link that we already had, okay? I'm gonna say convert to HTML. Let me click preview we have a widget right there. So now we have our widget that anytime I go live, it will also be live here on this page. As we just did before, when I previewed a very blank looking page, I'm gonna hit preview again. I wanna see it on desktop. And now I see on my page, there's a watch us live and a lovely Restream widget powered by Restream.io because they include that in there. And when I go live next, this will appear and it'll be great because wherever my destinations are for that live stream, those will be options on this widget. So you can send people to a single web page on your site. This one is really dot social slash live. You can send them to that page, but then it's up to them if they'd like to continue watching it here or go to their favorite social app. Very handy tool. It is in beta, but give it a try. But it will very much help if you have whoever is responsible for editing your website, if they can know how to do this too. But go ahead and try it, give it a shot, and see how it can work to make your Restream widget appear on your own landing page. I hope this was helpful. Click there to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget the bell. Also, click over there in case there's any other videos on this topic you'd like to watch. Lastly, if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future how-to social video, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to create something that will save you time, make you more efficient, and be really social.